Pete Larson over at Just a Few Acres Farm, a YouTube channel, is an escapee from the city about a decade ago. So many of the things he does on his farm is how I did things while growing up on the farm in my youth. He's often out in the field on his farm all age tractor and brings us along. I put on my headphones and am transported back in time when I was almost a teenager plowing or cultivating a field. But it was his last video on October 19th, 2021 that really made me have deja vu all over again. Hi, I'm Scott Bain. They call me the old farmer. If you're looking for hype, you'll have to look elsewhere. This is supposed to be an honest site where I hope you feel that we're just having a conversation. So let me tell you a little story about myself. Nothing fancy, just a bit of history based upon my reaction to another YouTube channel. If I was several decades younger, I think I would have done something along the lines like what Pete did. I do miss the cows, Guernsey's, whereas he has Dexter beef cattle. I would have some horses, too. You can have an honest relationship with a horse just like you can with a good dog. Come on, Pete, get a dog. Pete works hard having a good relationship with his animals, including his pigs. My father always accused me of making livestock pets. No, I would say, but I do think they want to be recognized. It shows. It's simple. I see you. They respond back in their own way. I see you. If we had to have the vet out, it had to be when I wasn't in school. The cows were better behaved if I was there with an arm around them while the vet worked on them. My father was very gentle with animals, but he couldn't understand why the cows needed me there when the vet came calling. What I do is spend time recognizing them as individuals. I talk to them and they communicate back. The cows don't know what's going to go on when the vet comes out with strange smells. If I was there talking to them and having an arm around the animal, it eased the nervousness of the situation. It made sense to me, and in the end, my father saw that it made a difference when the vet was there doing his doctoring. Pete's video brought back to me the sights, sounds, and yes, even the smells of the farm. There were many things I didn't mind doing. I didn't even mind getting up at 4.30 in the morning to milk the cows, but I was twice as fast milking in the afternoon over the morning milking. I'll leave a link to Pete's channel in the comments below. It's worth going over and visiting. And don't forget to tell them the old farmer sent you. I can smell the grain bin where we ground our own grain and the smell of oats, which is different than the smell of wheat. Silage had its own smell that was a bit tart from the fermentation going on. Hay had the smell something like grass, but heavier. Each thing had its own smell and combined to make it smell like a farm. My grandfather had a farm, but it smelled different because of the mixtures of smells were different. Just like the dried corn had its own smell of autumn or the musky smell of honeysuckle in the spring, I think I can understand a bit how a dog can identify things by smell. Pete's video brought back to me the presence of the farm and all the various parts and components that made it a farm. It brought back some of the feelings and even memories of memories that I had in my youth. All the buildings and the house is gone. All was torn down to get the gravel. Now it's about a two mile long lake. I thought that I would just share this with you. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> Let me just take 25 and a half seconds and thank all the folks who have subscribed and just dropped by for a visit. Thank you. To be honest, we are pushing hard to get a thousand subscribers so that we can get a few dollars from YouTube. 
Subscribing, leaving a comment, sharing on social media, and ringing the bell helps. If you're inclined to do any of these things, it will help steep us in deep appreciation. Inclined, steep, never mind. We're trying to stay away from all the gimmicks that YouTube wants and just stay honest. This means we must take the long model to reach a thousand subscribers without clickbait or hype. The things you see are the same as if you were standing right next to me. So let's just say thank you again. Well, this is the old farmer Scott Bain. Be well. Be safe. To click like and click subscribe on the Old Farmer YouTube channel. And thanks again for watching. Bye. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road speaking.